Hey, uh, we have some great video in addition to show you. We grabbed this one off the coast of Italy. That is a picture perfect water spout. This is over the waters just offshore from Ravenna, Italy. Uh, authorities said there was a lot of severe weather, lightning, heavy rain, that type of thing at the time. And you may remember the Manzanita tornado just a couple of years back uh, off of the Oregon coast began as a water spout held together and then of course was reclassified as a tornado when it moved on shore and tore up some tin blocks of that city. So those water spouts usually kind of tame, but they can they can prove to be quite dangerous. I want to show you a little bit of sunshine, right? So here's the one spot reporting some sun, the Sun River Resort camera. It's going to be 77 degrees over there this afternoon. You can see some people out uh, biking and really enjoying one of the pretty spots across our state on this Wednesday. Our clouds are kind of harmless. Certainly no threat of any rough weather. Winds are light. It continues to be much as I mentioned earlier in the show, we're sitting at 69 degrees, a humidity factor 73%. And here's the, the humidity uh, factor. When our dew point is 60 degrees, that basically means the air mass is capable of holding a ton of water vapor, which is what we feel as humans to get that mugginess. And we don't get dew points sitting at 60 or better for a number of days and nights in a row very often. But we're going to see that again tonight. See slight improvement in the humidity category tomorrow, and then it should feel noticeably less humid by the time we get to Friday. Everybody's in the upper 60 to 70, 71 degree range. There's uh, Scappoose, Hillsborough, McMinnville, Kaiser, all at 71 degrees down Albany. Good afternoon to you folks. You're setting at 72 degrees. Our future cast uh, movie for this afternoon. If you have some plans, it doesn't really show much in the way of any sun breaks and doesn't show much in the way of any showers, but that doesn't mean that a few showers can't find you. Here was a shower just outside of Longview at 5 p.m. And uh, we have seen the potential for maybe a spotty, heavier shower out there. I'll go ahead and play this into Thursday because tomorrow should be dry. Here we are in the morning at 9 a.m., a lot of cloudiness. Then we think the clouds kind of thin out during the day, and generally speaking, it goes on to be kind of partly sunny. And after that, we don't have any rain in the forecast until uh, Sunday. And that Sunday rain chance is just calling for maybe just a little dab. Doesn't look like much for this afternoon. Then a passing shower, cloudy, humid, mid 70s down in uh, Salem and Corvallis and McMinnville and pretty much identical uh, situation for you folks in Vancouver battleground up through Longview in southwest Washington. We saw the uh, partly cloudy skies over in central Oregon where it is a dry afternoon. Bend gets up to about 80 today and still just keeping an eye for an isolated thunderstorm out across far eastern Oregon and getting out into Idaho. Otherwise, you folks are seeing a partly cloudy day as well. So we're all dry tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. We see more sun Friday and Saturday than we'll see tomorrow. And then this rain chances, it's really going to end up being, I think, more of just mostly cloudy conditions than anything else. But there might be a drop of rain, 78 degrees on Tuesday. There are some signs that the last week of the month, Brenda, could pop us up to 90. We'll see. Wow. All right. Yeah, we will. All right. Thank you, Rob.